So, Me Too has decided to take a turn for the homosexual. <laughs> yo, legit, man. Like, yo, it, it's it, it's a great day to be Tom Peace. Because I'll be honest with you, I hate fucking murder porn, right? I think it's disgusting and horrible. And uh, it's basically TV made for women, all right? That's what murder porn is, all right? It's the whole murder porn industry is made for women, all right? That's why, like, it's all types of rape and nonsense and, you know, I mean, the good guys always win and that's that just is what it is, right? Legit. But uh, Me Too has decided to go after the team of criminal minds from CBS. CBS criminal minds team sued in sexual harassment case. But this is this is something else completely, right? Cause like me too, supposed to be men. You know what I'm saying? Getting me too by females. Hang on, what just happened? The California Department of Fair Employment and Housing filed a sexual harassment lawsuit in Los Angeles County on Tuesday against the producers and studios behind the CBS show Criminal Minds, one of the longest running network dramas. Really, because I think Law and Order has been on since like the fucking 80s and shit. Like, <laughs> like, but it's all right. The lawsuit claims that over 14 years, Gregory St. John's director of photography for the series used his position and power to create an unchecked hostile work environment in which he subjected produ production crew members to frequent sexual harassment, including touching and caressing numerous employees. According to the suit, St. John's doted on certain men and treated them more favorably, provided they acquiesced to his attention. Wait, what? That's a dude. Are you telling me that gay guys are now me too and other gay guys? <laughs> oh, this is fucking great. Yo, the left just eats itself. It's amazing. To those who resisted, he retaliated in common patterns, including the silent treatment, social ostracism, unfair criticism, public shaming, and ultimately termination. <laughs> Ah, oh, yo, it sounds like some type of Facebook bullshit. <laughs> like, yo, like you got some deleted user in your future, nigga. <laughs> yo, it's so dumb. Why is this so dumb? <laughs> yo, the loot lawsuit also claims that the executive production team had knowledge of and condoned St. John's alleged conduct, firing over a dozen men who resisted St. John's harassment, according to a statement from the state agency. The suit names the Walt Disney Company, ABC Signature Studios, CBS Studios, St. John's, and members of the executive production team of the television series as defendants. The company works hard to maintain an environment free from discrimination, harassment, or retaliation. A spokesperson for the spokesman for ABC spokesperson, nigga. See, I, I corrected your own shit. Like, yo, spokesman for ABC News. Said in his instance, the company took corrective actions. We cooperated with the Department of Fair Employment and Housing during its investigation, and we regret that we were unable to reach a reasonable uh, resolution with the department. We now intend to defend the asserted claims vigorously. CBS did not immediately respond to requests from comment. Uh, St. John's could not be reached again. Yeah, no shit. That motherfucker's sitting on a beach somewhere harassing a small Filipino boy. <laughs> According to a statement from the state agency, the department game began a systematic investigation last March after two former employees filed administrative complaints. All the people in California had the right to make a living free from sexual harassment. <laughs> Yo, Department Director Kevin Kish said in a statement, companies and leaders who protect harassers and retaliate against those who complain violate the law. Allegations against St. John's surfaced in 2018 when Variety reported that St. John's continued to work on criminal minds despite an open investigation by the state <laughs> and a human resources inquiry into a claim that he sexually harassed and retaliated against a former crew member. According to reports, several crew members claimed that he had reported St. John's alleged abuse to senior management, but nothing had been done to check or address his alleged behavior. The state agency is seeking damages for all production employees who were subjected to the alleged harassment. Now, look, man, here's where I'm at. Legit, you don't shit where you eat. 
know what I'm saying? That's not even a difficult thing to understand. Like, real shit. Don't shit where you fucking eat. It, it, how is that even hard? Like, yo, your motherfuckers act like this is difficult shit to understand. Yo, it's money over everything, all right? Money over everything, okay? It doesn't, like, yo, when you go to make money, yo, your pussy is left at the crib, okay? You want to get pussy, do it on your off hours. You want to fucking stand here and bang dudes, do it on your off hours. But legitimately, at work, you don't fuck around. Stop fucking up your money. <laughs> like, man, listen, how many times I got to keep saying this? Like, man, yo, look, do not look for love at work. All right, work is for work. Love is for love, motherfucker. Uh, a place of everything and everything in its place. All right, it's a really simple ass fucking thing. <laughs> You can avoid getting me too. Do you know how? By not dealing with motherfucking broads at work. <laughs> like, yo, it's it's a basic ass premise. Man, listen. <clears throat> anyway, yo, look. This is fucking hilarious. On a whole new level of fucking hilarious. Like, I'll be real. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like the fucking snake eating its own goddamn tail and shit. And it is what it is. Anyway, yo, look. Tom Peace of Pinoy News. Y'all know the situation. Like, share, and subscribe, motherfuckers. Peace be like one. Later.